Pushing for change in Louisville's bar scene today marks two years since Christopher McKinney was killed by a bouncer at a Highlands bar. As WLKY Shaquille Lord explains, McKinney's husband is trying to get legislation passed to prevent this from happening to anyone else. I just can't believe two years has even passed. I mean, it, I feel like I've just been like frozen in time with grief. Nick Clark was supposed to spend a lifetime with his husband, Christopher McKinney. Instead, it was just a few months. The 35-year-old was killed as a result of an altercation with the bouncer at Nowhere Bar in the Highlands two years ago. Clark's been pushing for regulations for bouncers ever since. It's a no-brainer to me. You know, our police force, military, firefighters, they all have to have training. An intoxicated McKinney was being escorted out of the bar for what investigators say was unruly behavior. Police say the 35-year-old and the bouncer got into an altercation where the bouncer admitted to punching him in the head, which led to his death. The bouncer was never charged. Christopher's law, if passed, would add regulations when it comes to bars hiring bouncers. See, this is such common sense legislation. We've got bouncers, people in positions of authority, and it's their job to keep people safe. Uh, and yet there are no standards. There are no training requirements. In the bill, the Alcoholic Beverage Control Board would create a bouncer application form, which would ask for previous experience. There would be mandatory training for bouncers, such as de-escalation tactics, and also a bouncer incident report law. Also, Bouncers would not be allowed to consume alcohol or illegal substances while working. We cannot bring him back, but what we can do is honor his legacy by making sure that no one else is ever in this position. The bill, which has bipartisan support, was filed last year, but it didn't make much progress during the short session. Clark says this year could be different, and his advocacy since his husband's death would be all worth it. I think that he's probably proud of what I'm doing. Um, you know, he probably wants me to slow down, actually. Um, but that's just not my, that's not my M.O. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.